In this video, how to clear RDP connections history in Windows. The built-in Windows Remote Desktop Connection Client saves the remote computer name, or IP address, and the username that is used to log in after each successful connection to the remote host. The next time the RDP client starts, the user can select one of the saved connections and the previous username will be automatically inserted. If you are using a public computer or a computer you don't trust, you may want to clear your RDP connection history for security reasons. Windows stores the history of remote desktop client connections in several different places, and to completely clear the RDP history, you will need to delete the data from all of these places. First, delete RDP connection history from registry. The default subkey contains history entries for the last 10 RDP connections. Their values contain IP addresses or host names. Select all the registry parameters in the key and delete them. Expand the server's subkey. All previously used RDP hosts and user accounts are stored here. Clear all entries in the server's registry key. The next step is to delete the hidden default.rdp file from the Documents folder in the User Profile. This file stores information about the last RDP connection. The file is hidden by default. If you can't see it, enable Show Hidden Files and Folders in Windows Settings. Windows also stores recent remote desktop connections in jump lists. If you type MSDSC in the Windows search box or right-click on the client in the taskbar, you will see the history of previous RDP connections in the recent list. To clear the RDP history in the Start menu and Jump lists, clear the Recent Items list by deleting the files in this folder. Next, clear remote desktop bitmap cache. For security reasons, it is recommended that you clear the RDP cache. Go to this folder and delete all files. The RDP client also logs each outbound connection to the event viewer log. And finally, remove saved RDP credentials on Windows. The RDP client allows you to store the user's password in the built-in Windows Credential Manager and automatically connect to a remote host without entering a password. You can delete saved RDP passwords from the Credential Manager window.
That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in next videos.